Hi, I'm Darren Wanoyama and welcome to Mat Culture and welcome to Japan. So right now we're just basically filling out the form for a currency exchange, uh, which is a pretty good spot to do it at the airport. If we do it anywhere else, the exchange rate is a little bit different. So usually you'll try to exchange about four to five hundred dollars to hold you over for maybe a week to two weeks. So we're at the train station at the Narita Airport, uh, filling out forms to get a cell phone, something that's essential. So this is something that's essential when you come to Japan, especially if you're uh, having to communicate with other friends that are here, get from one gym to the other. Uh, the last time I came, I didn't have a cell phone, and it's pretty difficult. So we're gonna take you to the store. And if you have any problem, please go to this number. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. We purchased two tickets uh, <clears throat> on the Narita Express from Narita Airport to Tokyo. Um, this is how you usually get to the city the fastest without getting lost on buses. And uh, yeah, so the Narita Express should be showing up pretty soon. And then we sit there for about an hour and then we arrive in uh, I think our, the station we're going to is Shinagawa Station. Okay guys, so this is our uh, business apartment. Tokyo is a very expensive place to stay. It's one of the most expensive cities uh, in the world to stay at. So when I come, I, I tend to rent a business apartment. It's a lot more convenient. Uh, you, you can come and go as you please. So let's see, the stars. You can rent it by the week, by the month. Um, a lot of businesses basically rent this place out for employees that are going to stay and do business for a short period of time. comes with uh, its own washing machine and this nice little area for you to take off your shoes. So you want to come on in, check out my pad. So we'll start here. We have the basic uh, washing machine. Only uses cold water, pretty standard, uh, no dryer. Everything you do, you hang dry. You have this nice little little closet here, little coat rack. You can basically put your umbrella. The weather here in the summertime is very similar to like Hawaii, um, but a little bit more humid. You have your, your regular storms, um, rain showers, stuff like that. This is actually a pretty big uh, refrigerator. Plus you have your own kitchen, sink. Uh, when you come, you have to buy all your own uh, stuff like chopsticks, dish soap, uh, plastic silverware. Um, you have a little toaster oven, really convenient. You have your uh, water boiler. Pretty standard rice cooker. Any of you guys Asian Americans out there know what's up with that. We can't go far from home without our rice. Then here we're going into our bathroom. Okay, now this is very important right here. This controls your water temperature setting, right? So you'll set it so that you have hot water. Uh, Japanese are very energy efficient since there's so many people living in a small area. Okay, so here we have the bathroom. And this is actually a pretty big bathroom. A lot of bathrooms don't have their own sink. Um, the place comes equipped with uh, three rolls of toilet paper uh, that will only hold over a healthy athlete like myself about a day and a half. Okay, I usually go pretty frequently. So, you know, pretty standard stuff here. Comes with a dryer. Now this is our, our uh, bathroom. So basically, you shower first, and then if you want to take a hot bath, you bathe after are basically relaxing the hot water. Um, you have a dryer here, 
so that you can dry your clothes, right? And if it's raining outside, you can set the, the setting and you hang dry your clothes in here. Um, plus, to prevent mildew and stuff from forming, you actually dry out the bathroom, okay? Here you have your toilet, right? Comes custom with a heated seat, right? Also a bidet. Sometimes you can pretend here that you're the captain of uh, Starfleet Command. So, uh, feel like Captain Kirk or uh, Jean-Luc Picard, depending on which generation you prefer. You have your bidet setting, that's to wash your ass. And then you have your frontal setting, which is for females. Uh, pretty much, make sure that you wipe your ass before you spray your ass, or else <laughs> you could get shitty balls. Uh, other than that, also make sure that you have <laughs> your warm water set, or you'll have a very cold surprise. Okay, <clears throat> moving on into the bedroom. This is pretty much where all the magic happens. <laughs> it's pretty small, so uh, this is gonna be a pretty short wrap. We, it comes equipped with internet, which is crucial when you come here from the States. Uh, you can communicate with your family via the internet. You could set up a Skype account, call home for basically cents for the minute. And you can also do uh, free Skype to Skype. So that's something that really helps. You can use your iPhone if you guys have iPhones to, to call. Plus you can do video conference for people that have families like myself. I could actually see my kids talking to me, which is pretty good. This is not your AC control. This is to communicate with the front desk or if you have any emergency situation, you can call uh, for like your toilet to be fixed, anything like that. One time I mistook this as my AC controller to be, uh, Surprised in here, a Japanese guy asked me what the hell's going on. Uh, and that was about three in the morning. Okay, so here you have the AC, your AC remote. Here we are outside. So everybody pretty much hang dries everything. So this railing actually goes up and down and you can lock it out. There's uh, a few clip hangers that, that are in the closet. And I don't know if you can see Right now, if the lighting is good, but pretty much every apartment complex on the rooftops also has like a hanging station. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna head to the grocery store or 99 yen shop where you can buy pretty much anything you need to continue existing here and it's open 24 hours. So uh, let's hustle on down and I'll show you around uh, Omori a little bit, which is pretty much central in Tokyo. So you can train at a, a number of different gyms if you get the train system down. All right, so let's start heading out the front door. All right, so we're headed down to the 99 yen shop, which is conveniently just like a few blocks away. Ooh. Pretty much here too, you got uh, everything you need available in vending machines. You could get beer, coffee, tea, Picari sweat. And it's pretty convenient. Cigarettes, easily accessible for minors, which is, you know, always good for their health. How's it going? And then you have uh, Hostess Shop. Right, hostess bar. So if you need company, you go to the bar and they have chicks to hang out with you. Not that I would know, but that's what I hear. Uh, there's a ton of places to get food late at night. You can get uh, anything from Korean barbecue to, uh, to hamburgers, which I think they call hamburger. Or you can uh, smoke a cigarette in the corner and text text people. Japanese all text and email on their phone. So, and here you go is a Korean barbecue place. Uh, a lot of the fighters visit. It's got probably some of the some of the food that the most foreigners or foreigners to Japan can can relate to. 
As you can see, Japanese fashion, a lot of it's inspired by American fashion. Um, people like Nike Dunks, uh, board shorts. They're really fashionable. A lot of them collect shoes. Since you, you have such little space, a lot of people collect things. So they might not have a lot of items, but the items that they do have are really nice and they take a lot of care of them. So here we go. Again, this is the best place compared to the other fruit prices. Now you have fruit reasonably priced for a dollar each. So we just asked the, the storeman if uh, we could film inside. They said it's not okay. But uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and purchase some items and then I'll come out and show you what I got. And I can show you for how cheap I got it. Um, other than that, yeah, I'll check you out in a minute. Okay, so we're headed back now. Uh, we got pretty much everything we need to hold us over for a while for about 25 bucks. Um, I don't think there's anywhere in the States that you can get all this for 25 bucks, including all the beer, water, and other good supplements that you need to be a professional athlete. 